What's up everybody, welcome back to another deck profile here on TCGU. I'm Michael and today we're doing Death Katana for the Femme Fatale Tournament. Uh, I've been wanting to play this deck for a while. Uh, I've had a lot of fun making it, playing it, um, and it makes me want to play it a little bit longer. Let's just get right into it. So yeah guys, we're playing Katana. She's a 6 hander with 26 life with 3 different enhances. That's right, 3 different enhances. I can pay a life to give my ranger weapon attack 2 speed and 1 damage, which is super sweet. All of our attacks are going to get buffed off of this. Then enhance once per turn, I can lose X Vitality to discard my opponent's attack. X equals the attack's printed difficulty. Then Desperation Enhances, I can name a card type, and if my opponent attempts to block with that card type, they get plus 2 to her block mod, which is super sweet. She just gets in there sometimes. I love it. So on to the actions and assets. We're playing 1 Know the Power of the Abyss. Uh, it's a 4-4 no block. It says Enhance Remove. Discard top 10 cards of our deck. Set the current attack speed to 0 and then pick up a reversal. So off of this we can add Lilith's Ingress or we can add Princess Parry, which I think is the star of our deck. So that's why we're only just playing 1. It's a free speed reset. It mills us 10, so that's pretty good. Playing 2 Prepare to Fight. Uh, since we're playing Death, this is probably arguably the best block in Death. Uh, it's got that one mid block with three different effects and the breaker one. Uh, after you block an attack with multiple, you can discard the multiple copies as a response. And then its other response in the card pool is after you partial block an attack, it uh, deals zero damage. Then it enhances both of us, take one card from our staging area and stuff it into our card pool. This card's really good. We're playing three bang just to shut off the annoying defensive off offensive pieces. Uh, or just our character in general. E removes, seal one card in their staging area. And then R, after your opponent does not attempt to block, or yeah, after they don't attempt to block our attack, they lose three vitality, and we get to draw a card. That's pretty sweet. And then we're just playing two assets, one Arondite Replica. We're using it for the three mid-block, Breaker 3. Uh, we'd prefer not to play this card, but it does have a deadlock in hand, so that's really nice. Uh, uh, if our opponent's in deadlock, we get plus two damage, plus two speed. And then randomly, it's R is good. Uh, <coughs> R commit, after an attack is played, I can give plus one or minus two to its multiple rating. But like I said, we're just here for the Breaker the breaker 3, and then the 3 mid block. And then the last one that we're playing is a Swordfish. Enhance, add this card to the momentum, add the current attack to its owner's momentum. Super good. So on to the attacks. Uh, like I was just talking about, the star of the deck... Definitely for Princess Perry, this card uh, lets you play on your opponent's turn. It shuts off attacks. It's just a block and an attack in one, basically. Uh, it gives all of our cards safe. And then Desperation R, add this to our card pool. Discard the current attack, which is going to be your opponent's attack, and then play this as a reversal. Super sweet. It's a one check, but we get to clear an attack, and it's a 5 high for 5. And then thanks to Katana, it's a 7 high for 6. Super good. Love it. Uh, I thought this card was actually really, really good, uh, and it actually made me want to play a fourth copy, just because it would be a five mid for five with Katana, but it's first enhance, <clears throat> destroy one of your opponent's foundations, or they can lose three life to cancel it. Uh, I found that effect to be super, super relevant, because sometimes this attack just deals eight damage, and all we had to do was pay, pay one life. <clears throat> We're playing three Ghosty Funeral. <clears throat> I think Katana actually just uses this attack the best. Uh, she makes it an eight mid for seven, which is super good. And then just getting down your opponent down to desperation, this deck isn't too hard because after you bop your opponent with like two princess parries, all of a sudden they're in desperation. So Ghost Thief's live. And then it's other enhanced so we can discard a momentum. If this isn't blocked, our opponent burns three and we get to draw three cards. And like an eight mid's pretty hard to block. Playing two Glaive Throw. I actually super love this card. Uh, made me want to play extra copies, but uh, I think it's regular enhanced. It's just a little too pricey with how I'm running this deck. So regular enhances, I can lose two life to give this attack plus two plus two. And it's desperation enhances, I can name a card type. My opponent reveals their hand and loses two vitality for each card of the card type that I called. Uh, that's revealed from their hand. So if I call an attack and they have two attacks in their hand, they lose four life, etc. Whether I call asset, action, foundation, attack, any of that sweet stuff. Uh, and then with katana and with its effect, it gets four speed and one damage. So it's a six mid for six. It's got a zero high block, which is really good. And then we're playing two fan nato. Uh, I really liked the combo enhance with this, uh, just because if we're in desperation, it says uh, if I call the right thing, you have plus five to your block mod, which is super sweet if it's an attack or if it's uh, the uh, action. And then all the other ones just have plus two to a block mod, so like super sweet. Your opponent's like not blocking this. And then with katana, it's a six low for seven, which is really good. 
And then I was talking about this card earlier, two little two's Ingress. This deck was this card was super super sweet in this deck because uh, Katana's gonna give it two speed and one damage, and then we'll use its effect to seal a relevant foundation and give it even more speed. And then we can discard momentum to give it mad damage for the difference between speed <coughs> and uh, its printed speed. Uh, so yeah, seal one of our opponent's foundations and get plus X speed equal to the difficulty of the foundation we sealed, and then discard a momentum to give this attack plus X damage. X equals the difference between its current speed and printed speed. And this is, a, this is a reversal, so it's really good. We can add it. We're playing two Slash Claw, just because I felt like this deck was really needed momentum. Uh, and then uh, even if you seal it with its own effect, it still counts as a weapon, so Katana can still give it 2-1. So it's still a 5 mid for 6, which is really nice. Uh, and then it gives us a momentum whether they block it or not. So sometimes this card gives us 2 momentum. It's got 0 low block, and it has multiple. Uh, and then I was playing these as Sweet one ofs. Uh, I was playing 1 Dispelling Horn. Uh, it's got a million keywords, but the only one that's relevant for us would be Reversal, just being able to pick it up off and know the power of the Abyss. And it's Deadlock Enhances. We put our hand into our momentum and draw back to printed hand size. So that's why I'm playing one of for the sweet, sweet Deadlock Enhance. Then I was playing just one Hyper Bomb. Uh, I liked Napalm a lot better, so I was playing more of the Napalm Strike. <clears throat> but uh, Hyper Bomb is a 5 low for 6 in our deck. Uh, it commits two of our opponent's foundations thanks to Sun 2. If it's not blocked, we get to draw a card, and then we can commit a foundation to blow up one of our opponent's stun foundations before we're at lower life. And since we're Katana, we're paying a decent amount of life, so that effect could trigger often. And so that's it for the attacks. On the foundations, we're playing two debt to be paid. A zero five. If we've lost vitality this turn, we can flip it to give minus one to our opponent's next check to play card. This is play well committed. We're playing two syndicate target. It's a zero low block with a six check and spam. Playing three most trusted assassin uh, gives us information off of the first form, and then it's once per turn enhanced so we can lose one life. Our opponent's next check to play an attack card gets minus one, which is super sweet. Just try and end our opponent's turn just a little quicker, uh, and then we can try and get our opponent to tap a couple extra cards so we can just Princess Barium, which is super sweet. Uh, two Wishing Ward uh, for the discard hate, and then enhance flip. We can mill three to get rid of our opponent's foundations, and then allowing us to mill cards as well is really good because we can just get more information and maybe get rid of one of our one checks. Playing three Cage Fighter, uh, our flip after our opponent makes a check on a non-foundation card, we can give it minus one, which is super good. Unfortunately, it doesn't end their turn, but we'll tr we'll bait them into. Oh, I'll just flip one of my Cage Fighters, so you'll have to commit an extra one. Okay, I'll Princess Parry you, and you're gonna try and play another one. I'll flip another Cage Fighter. Maybe I'll Princess Parry you again. Who knows? We're playing three Demon Hide. This is good against Gage decks, and then any decks that uh, like to run wild with Coffee Samba. Our flip after an attack is played, it loses gauge and can't gain keywords for the rest of the turn. Uh, this card just says we'd never get blown out by Coffee Samba ever, as long as we have it. Playing four New Empress of Netherrealm. Desperation Enhanced, we can look at the top card of our opponent's deck for information that's nice. And then Enhanced Flip, we lose three life to draw a card. Super good, because uh, Katana has six-hander issues because she doesn't naturally card draw cards. Playing one act of treason, form, remove this, and remove one reversal from our discard pile to remove one foundation in our opponent's staging area. So we just remove that problem card. It's really good. Playing one ship, new shipmate, uh, commit, <clears throat> give minus two damage and gain one life to the current attack. It's just super good. You'll see a sweet play I did in the tournament. Super good. Love that card. Um, playing one scene for me. Uh, like I said, I felt like how I had this deck built. Uh, I felt like I really needed momentum a lot of the time. So enhance commit, discard momentum, we gain two life and draw a card. I think this card's like a lot of value in just a foundation. And it's the cost is you attacking your opponent one time. Playing two to his gift of immortal blood. Uh, we can enhance commit to take one card in our opponent's discard pile and put it into their momentum. So if it's like a problem card or if we're playing against Goro, stuff like that. And then enhance discard of momentum. This attack is minus five speed, but our opponent has to have one momentum to do it. And that effect is also play well committed. So we can enhance commit. I'll put this problem card in your uh, momentum, and then I'll enhance discard of momentum to get minus five speed. I thought this card was really good. I thought it was needed. Playing three Guardian of the Spirit Sword. Uh, enhance minus two speed, or if it's a weapon, minus three speed. And then enhance flip. We can discard a card to add an asset from our discard pile to our hand. This is going to pick up a Rondite replica, or it's just going to sit face up on our field for multiple turns and just give minus speed. Super sweet. It's a great rare. 
Playing three Kieran Soul. Uh, it's a no block, but it says enhance flip minus one speed for each character in our staging area, which is going to be just one. And then if we block it, it deals no damage. Uh, since we're playing really great blocks, we can mismatch our zones and just not take damage. Plus, it's a free minus one speed. Playing three Nightmare Terrors. Uh, Kieran Soul and Nightmare Terror is an Omni block for a mid, which is really good. Uh, but this says when we attempt to block with this card, we reduce the attack speed to zero. So we always block on a three with this card unless we have progressive difficulty. And then its enhance is actually really good on our turn flip. Our opponent commits and freezes one of their foundations, which is really, really good. And sometimes it got in there for me to like finish off the, the game. And then the last one we're playing is three Dark Side of Karma. Uh, it's the non-character, non-weapon revoke that everybody knows and loves. Our move after an enhance ability on a non-character, non-weapon card is played. We can cancel it and then play the wall committed. And then the other one is Enhanced Flip. We can return to Attack 2 Printed Speed. Alright guys, yeah, that was my Death Katana deck profile from the Femme Fatale Tournament. Like I said, I had a lot of fun playing this deck, and I had a lot of fun making this deck. I've been wanting to play it for a while, so I finally got an excuse, uh, thanks to our buddies here at TCG University, to finally make this deck. If you like the content, you can check us out on YouTube for the rest of our tournament series or the deck profiles coming out. Or you can find us on Patreon at TCG University. Uh, you can subscribe at the dollar or more level to get that stuff a week early. Uh, we have some really sweet exclusive content for you guys. Other than that, have a great day. Stay learned.